Hello, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. Today I'm going to show you a number of different fossil specimens that I've got in my collection. Now this one is a fossil crinoid. It's very large. This is from Morocco. And this one is uh, particularly important to me because it belonged to my uncle, um, who was really really cool guy who was into uh, you know a, a lot of scientific things um, fossils were just one of those things but uh, this was his and I was with him when uh, he purchased it uh, at the Geo Fair in Cincinnati that's uh, an event that I like to go to um, every year if I get the chance and uh, it's a really nice specimen of a uh, crinoid from Morocco um, crinoids um, Actually, there are still crinoids that exist in the ocean today, but they were creatures that attached themselves to the ocean floor with uh, a stem. They have kind of a flowery appearance because they would have these uh, uh, sort of feathery appendages that uh, flow in the water and they filter feed, so they catch particles of uh, food that they, can, uh, that they can eat through filter feeding. Then we have this piece here. This is uh, a shale. But it's, it's very coal-like, um, actually, because um, I, I think these shales are typically associated with the coal beds where these are collected in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is from, um, yeah, I can't remember the name of the uh, town. There's a town um, in, um, in Pennsylvania where these are typically collected. But these fossil ferns, they're really well-preserved. Uh, so that's an example that I also got from the Geofair of a really nice fossil fern. Then we have one of the nicer trilobites in my collection, the biggest one that I've got at this point. I think this is a Phacops species, uh, P-H-A-C-O-P-S. Um, this one, I, I think it might also be from Morocco. I don't remember for sure, but I bought it from a, a, a dealer um, that also was at that geofair. I find a lot of nice things for my collection there. It's a real nice trilobite. And I've got these two small trilobites here. These are significant because these are the first trilobites and some of the only trilobites that I have found myself. I think this was the first one I found. It's kind of been skewed. You see the body's been kind of broken a little bit. But I think it's pretty much all there. you got the lower part of it there. you got the head over here on this side. You see the eyes there. And then... Um, this one is cool because it is a fully enrolled trilobite rolled up kind of into a ball here. It's pretty neat. Now, I found both of these on a, a private property uh, in Mount Oreb, Ohio. Um, I was a member of a group called the Cincinnati Dry Dredgers, and a member had property there, and they let us collect on their property at this particular time. That was really a neat experience. I have this amethyst cluster. It's amethyst and, and quartz here. And this is significant to me, not just because it's, it's very pretty, it's very cool, but this was my grandfather's. And my grandfather, he lived in Cincinnati for a long time, and um, he collected some things himself. He also had um, pen pals that he would... Uh, uh, I know there was one guy in particular, I, I think he was, he was out west somewhere, and he would... Um, uh, send samples of things that he found around the Cincinnati area to him and this guy would send things back to my grandpa I'm not sure if this was one of those things that was sent to him, but um, Really nice specimen that was in my grandfather's collection And then lastly we have this Petoskey stone here You can only find Petoskey stones in Michigan um uh, usually around Lake Michigan and near Petoskey, uh, Michigan. So that's that's where they got their their name there. Um, but this is a fossilized coral, and this one has, you know, it has a face here that's been polished. That's why it looks so nice and shiny. Uh, you, you can't um, necessarily always pick out the, um, the fossilized uh, areas of these very easily unless they're wet. That's why the easiest way to find them is actually 
wading around in the water on the shores of Lake Michigan in that area. I've done that myself and I have found my own Petoskey stones. I did purchase this one uh, in Michigan from a shop because it's a, it's a really nice specimen. But, uh, you know, corals are colony animals and so I, I think, you know, individual coral polyps, coral creatures would be inside of each one of these little chambers and then this is a whole colony of, uh, of coral here. So those are just a few pieces from my fossil collection, a few little highlights here, and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing them today. Remember until next time, the world is full of cool stuff, go out and find some. Thank you.